Dublin City. It's been around for a thousand years. And myself and the lads and the Dubliners have been singing its praises for 25 of them. Now, there's no way you'd fit the full story of Dublin into an hour. You could be walking around the place for weeks and still not have the full picture. But what we do have time for is a bit of history, a few yardens, and plenty of music. And, of course, the odd stop off for a point or two. A taste, you might say, of the spirits of Dublin. Dublin is steeped in history and in the love of its generations. James Joyce had a mad passion for Anna Livia, the Liffey. It was a black pool in Gaelic at Dove Lane, formed where the rivers Liffey and Poddle met, that gave Dublin its name when it was born. Since then, it's grown into a rascally friend that you can see good and bad in, but can't help being charmed by. The Dublin character is as unique as the town that bred it. Spurden managed the song to celebrate the Dublin way of going. And since the Dubliners started playing uh, donkeys years ago in O'Donoghue's pub, we've probably sung them all. Riley, she has taken to the sub. Oh, poor old icy Riley, she will never give it up. Where it's off each morning to the pub, and then she's in for another little drop. At a heart on the roll with icy Riley. Push up poor old icy Riley, she has taken to the sub. Oh, she walks along Fitzgibbon Street with an independent air. And then it's down be Summer Hill. And as the people stare, she says it's nearly half past one. And it's time I had another little one. And a heart of the roll was Icy Riley. Push up poor old Icy Riley, she has taken to the sub. Poor old Icy Riley, she will never give it up. It's off each morning to the pop, and then she's in for another little drop. And a heart of the roll was Icy Riley. All long years ago, when men were men, and fancied may have long. All lovely Becky Cooper, or Maggie's Mary Wong. One woman put them all to shame, just one was worthy of the name, and the name of that dame was Dicey Riley. Was she a poor old Dicey Riley? She has taken to the sub. Poor old Dicey Riley, she will never give it up. It's off each morning to the pub, and then she's in for another little drop, and a half of the round was Dicey Riley. Oh, but time went catching up with her, like many pretty whores. And it's after you along the street, before you're out the doors. Their looks all fade and the balance weighed. Have it out of all that great brigade. Till the heart of the roll was Dicey Riley. Push up poor old Dicey Riley, she has taken to the sub. Poor old Dicey Riley, she will never give it up. It's off each morning to the pub, and then she's in for another little drop of the heart of the roll was Dicey Riley. Of course, who are we to be slagging poor old Dicey? So what would anyone think of a group that was formed in a pub and does most of his gigs in pubs? It was the late Luke Kelly, the Lord of Mercy on him, who said we should name ourselves after James Joyce's book of short stories, Dubliners. Since the early days in O'Donoghue's and places like the Royal Hotel in Hoth and the Embankment in Talla, 
We've been singing Dublin ballads through good and bad times. We were very lucky, of course, because we cut on not just in Ireland, but all around the world. Down the years, we've made dozens of records and played in at least 60 countries. You might say we're a bit like Dublin ambassadors to the world, bringing the songs of our hometown to places far and wide. It's certainly a far cry from busing it to gigs in Dublin pubs to jetting it around the world and back again. But sure, for all the high life and farting parts, there's nothing like getting back to the old sod. It's more than a matter of having been born and reared here. Sure, isn't it the spirit of Dublin that keeps us going? Well, enough about the Dubliners. But what about Dublin itself? The first real settlements along the banks of the Liffey were built by the Vikings a thousand years ago. And here, under St. Audience Church, a taste of what life was like then has been reconstructed with the help of a few genuine Vikings. Oh, there you are. What do you do here? I'm the builder. Oh, I see. And what are you? I'm, I'm learning to be a builder. What are you doing? I'm a trader. If you come down to my boat, I can uh, trade for some wine if you have silver on you. No, oh, I'm going to have a look. I am the best bread maker in It's here, around the area known as the Liberties, that Dublin grew up. Christchurch Cathedral was built by the Norman warrior Strongbow for St. Lawrence O'Toole in the 12th century. But underneath it is the oldest surviving building in Dublin. The crypt started out as a religious place. There's three chapels here. But later, the nukes were hired out to shopkeepers and publicans. The cathedral and markets carried on together at first, but the racket from the revellers below proved too much during religious services above and the place was finally closed down. It was used then to store such things as relics and statues of forgotten lords. And then there's this little darling, the ancient stocks of the Liberty of Christ Church. This is where the Dean put people who thwarted them or broke his laws. By the way, did you ever wonder where the expression the Liberties came from? Well, Centuries ago, a liberty was a stretch of land given to some old lord or archbishop by either royalty or Rome. And it meant they didn't just own the land. They were a law unto themselves on that ground. There's eight liberties in this area, and some even had gates and walls dividing them, and you'd have to pay to get in. That kind of grandeur has faded, of course, but the liberties is known and loved today as the cradle of the Dublin character. It's the setting for many yarns and songs, and my own favourite is a song about a famous event that took place here every Christmas, the Ragman's Ball. These fellas who made their living by trading old clothes and tatters collected door to door would gather here for a booze up and, well, other things besides. Oh, come listen to me for a while, be good friends one and all. And I'll sing to you a verse or two about a famous ball. Now the ball was given by some friends who lived down in our street, in a certain house of the Liberties, where the ragmen used to meet. Well, for eight, we had plenty now, as much as we could hold. We drank Brady's loop line porter, until round the floor we rolled. In the midst of all the confusion, someone shouted for a song. When up jumps old Don Levin and sings, keep rolling your battle along. Well, says my one, you're a queer one now, and pity you're hard to bait. Oh, when up jumps Liza Boland, and she told her to hold her freight. Then my one made a cloud at her, she missed her and hit the wall. And the two of them went to the ambulance, the night of the ragman's ball. Then we all sat down to some ham pairings, when everything was quiet. And for broken noses, I must say, we had a lovely night. Black eyes, they were in great demand, not to mention split heads and all. So if anyone wants to commit suicide, let them come to the ragman's ball. Hey, yeah, tell us it all.